Christy from Homes and Things. Listen, I just walked in the door from Ingles, okay? I went because I have a taste for um, meatloaf and gravy. And I decided that I'm gonna turn on the camera and we're gonna cook together. So I know it's nothing fancy. I know it's meatloaf. But hey, at least we get to spend time together, right? Okay, then. Okay, girl. Let's spend time together. So let me put the groceries up. Let me put the groceries up. It looks like I got three minutes left on this battery. So I'm going to change the battery and put the groceries up. And I'll be right back. We'll get to cooking, okay? All right. We'll see you in a minute. Okay, y'all. I decided not to change my battery because I have 18% right now and that is just not enough for me to take it out <laughs> it's got to go low so anyway i'm getting ready to start my meatloaf i got my trusty pan y'all this pan is beat up but when i tell you this is a good clean your collard greens clean your chicken mix up your meatloaf pan so that's what we doing there I've already rough chopped and I got all my veggies here. I'm going to do a quick rough chop of the peppers. Hold on one second. All right, y'all, it's been a madhouse. I'm sorry. I did a rough chop on all my vegetables. So we'll go ahead and chop it up, chop them up. Um, and y'all know, you got to have some, you got to have some muscle with this thing. Y'all know that I go to Ingles and buy the veggies already chopped up, but I tell you, it's nothing like the flavor of fresh veggies hold on <laughs> i don't know if y'all can see in the video but i got two phones here and they both been ringing off the hook all morning it has been an hour since i started making this meatloaf you guys and we we not even there yet okay so i've mixed up the ground beef and the italian sausage a little bit i'm gonna add lots of veggies and this is way too many veggies for this meatloaf. So we're gonna put the rest of those veggies in a freezer bag. See, we got lots of veggies for the next time. That's going in the freezer. So we've got the meat and stuff here. I'm gonna drop two eggs in the mixture and then we're gonna add some seasoning. So we're gonna do onion powder and you add whatever seasonings work for your family, okay? There's no right or wrong. Everybody got a different flavor palette. It's really up to you. This is garlic powder. It's really up to you what flavors you want in your meatloaf. I just grabbed anything. I'm going to put a little Lowry's seasoning salt. Y'all got Obey and all kind of stuff. And I'm going to do a little salt-free garlic and herb. Why I got all spice and all kind of stuff over here. That is not what I meant to get. I think that's it, y'all. This right here, this is not even, this is chicken flavor bouillon, but it's, it's the seasoning, y'all. It's the way it makes you feel. This particular seasoning. And this is the, I don't feel like getting all this stuff up in my fingernail, but I'm out of gloves. So we're going to have to do what we got to do. So we're going to mix. My hands are clean. We're gonna mix it all together. And you know I didn't turn my oven on. So I use my, I'll have to wipe it off. But we're gonna get this all mixed up together. Don't that look good? Can y'all really see that? That looks so good. Now let me wash my hands and get a pan to cook it in and give um, the oven time to heat up. I should have cut it on a long time ago. But we're gonna make it do what it do, y'all. Okay, that's what we do. We're going to make it do what it do. 
Let me get this counter cleaned up. Get these veggies in the freezer. Get these eggs in the refrigerator. Get the pan that we're going to cook all of this in. And I'll be right back. I have a little extra virgin olive oil here. I'm going to spray this dish with a little extra virgin olive oil. And that's what we're going to use to cook the meatloaf. I may have some extra meat. Matter of fact, I will have. I'm forming it all together, packing it. That's just preference. You could have filled this whole pan, or you could have used a smaller loaf. I do have loaf dishes I could have used, but ground beef and stuff makes like a water, and sometimes if it makes too much, I like to pour it off as it's cooking. So this is what we're going to put in the oven, and I'm going to get a, a Ziploc bag. I'm going to make some little patties real quick. And that'll be a meal later. Three patties. That's a good meal. I eat one. My husband will eat two. We can have a burger for lunch one day, y'all. I can't wait to taste the meatloaf with the Italian sausage. Because when I tell you, this smells so good, y'all. I'm going to get cleaned up. I'll be right back. The stove just beat, which tells me that it's hot. So we're going to go ahead and put it in the oven. I forgot to take these pans out, but it's all right. So I'm going to set my timer for 40 minutes, and I'll check it. It should be done by then. But I set my timer for 40 minutes, and now I am going to get the dishes cleaned up. And then this are the sides. Y'all don't want to watch me open a can and pour it in the pot. But we're doing the really tiny curly peas and some home style mashed potatoes. I have two packs of them. These are buttery home style mashed potatoes. We're not peeling no potatoes and chopping up no uh, garlic and all that today. We're just doing a quick meal. Um, and I wanted to share it with you. So let me get the kitchen cleaned up. but it hadn't boiled yet so we'll see and I'll give it a taste the water's getting ready to boil here I'm gonna let it boil real good the instructions say put the boiling water and the potatoes in a heat resistant bowl but I'm gonna mix them up in there but I added a little extra water I'm gonna let it boil a little bit first then I'm gonna turn it off add the potatoes and mix it so we'll see how that turns out Good boil on our potatoes. So I'm gonna first let me get in the open the bags, turn the water off, and then I'm gonna take it off the heat. Hope you can still see me. If I can bring you closer, I feel a big lump in one area. So I'm gonna keep stirring so it get even. It's starting to thicken up. I use a little extra water. It calls for two cups per bag, and I put in four cups and then Maybe a little less than half a cup, maybe right at half a cup, just by my guesstimate. Those peas are boiling good. I'm gonna turn it down on low heat and let them simmer. And I think the hotter, the cooler these potatoes get, the more they'll stiffen, but they're good creamy. Ooh, I had to clean my fork off because I tasted it. I'm gonna season. This is pepper. I don't know if you can see, but that's that good cracked pepper. Can you see? And this is pink Himalaya sea salt. Not too much. Now let's give it a taste. Ooh. Just right, y'all. Okay, so those are good to go. There's the potatoes. 
peas are cooking. And this is what, can y'all see? That's what the meatloaf looks like right now. Okay. Okay, and we got about 17 minutes left on the, uh, I heated up my coffee. We got about 17 minutes left on the uh, meatloaf. And then we'll give it a taste. I don't think this is not hot enough. I put it in there for 30 more seconds. So we got 17 minutes left on the um, 16 now minutes left on the meatloaf. And then we'll give it a taste. It could need some more cooking. I put it on there for 40 minutes, but it smells so good, y'all. It just really smells so good. I'm glad I put the Italian sausage in it. I hope my husband likes it. It doesn't mess with his stomach. So anyway, that's an easy peasy meal. Mobile home living style. I'll show you the meal when it's done. Y'all know I'm the paper plate, plate queen. So this is how the potatoes, peas, and meatloaf turned out and I want to kind of chop it up so you can see all the good veggies can you see the good veggies on the inside of the meatloaf my husband took one bite and knew that a sausage was in it how the sausage taste in the meatloaf babe huh good <laughs> You can see the onion and bell, different color bell peppers in the meatloaf. And we had a peas and mashed potatoes. I just wanted to show you the outcome. It tastes really, really good. And I'm glad you guys rock with me on cooking this meal. So if you like this video or if you like cooking videos, uh, in addition to mobile home tours, give us a big thumbs up and tell us to keep them coming in the comment section. See you in the next video.